G'day guys, this is just probably the last part of this uh, little virtual dark road project we've been working on for Halloween. Uh, I'm just trying to give you a bit of a film of it, what's going on. Uh, but we're sort of situated in a bit of a, bit of a dark room. Um, and the idea is we've got a video being projected up. And it's probably a bit a little tricky to see, we've got a fan on our left and our right to simulate the ride, so to speak, moving to the left and the right. So I've just got this um, sort of mocked up with wires and bits and pieces everywhere at the moment. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick video to show you how I put it all together before I sort of button it up and pack it up ready for Halloween. Um, so yeah, it's about a two minute ride. Just one little pull feature is when it comes up to a certain oh, I've got a couple of little floodlights sort of flashing along there. That's probably see what the bit of a glow light is from. So it sort of comes along down here. There's one little cool feature I think we did. Um, just want to sit back so we can sort of, sort of view it. Uh, it's, we've got the coming down to our old skeleton, driving our old uh, ship there. Hopefully you'll be able to see oh, our little water pump squirting a nice little mist of water out on the kids, which you'll be able to sit on our. Uh, Another thing might be you might hear a bit of a clicking noise. Uh, on our seat, we've actually got some vibration motors under it. I'll show you that. I'll show you everything in a minute. Um, now we'll put it all together and we'll go forward from there. So yeah, it's coming up to almost to a finish, and that's our virtual dark ride. Okay, I'm just gonna stop him now. Okay, so how do we make this all work? I'll put a bit of light on the subject. So this is in the middle of the, of the day here. Uh, it'll be a lot darker at night. Okay, what we've got, we've got our video file and I'll talk about that for starters. Uh, that's, I'll put the link where that's available from down below. But um, this bunch of wires and stuff it's going to be mounted up in a little control box all tucked away all nice and safe so this is all just mocked up I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick um, tour so to speak uh, how it's all put together before I uh, button it up so to speak so we've got our video which is all projected onto our uh, it's just a cheap screen um, it's a short throw um, projector uh, I think it's an Epson EB uh, 8 four double Four double five. Now that's about like okay, allow me. It's a short throw. It's about seven hundred or six hundred and fifty mil from the screen. They're meant to be uh, mounted up above uh, for whiteboards and stuff, uh, but I've mounted it on the ground so it keep it nice and safe, and so it wouldn't fall down. Uh, the enclosure I'm using to put all this in. It's just one of those little gazebos, and I've just had some tarps that's put up around the outside of it. Um, we've sort of relocated in our garage if we're using it for Halloween or another project we're working on. Okay, so that's our video, that's all pretty straightforward. Now, the brains behind it, I suppose, is we're running Falcon uh, Player on a Raspberry Pi, which is sort of tucked away in under here. Where have we got it? Oh, I can't really see it, sorry. Tucked away in under here. Uh, that's got our HDMI cable coming out, sending that video cable feed out. Uh, then we've got our USB and just one of those little cheap uh, dongles to send the audio out. Just to some old computer speakers. Nothing flash there. Now that Raspberry Pi has a Allen Hansen Pixel controller on it. Uh, so that can then send... Um, I've made a sequence in X lights to control... Uh, the fans, we have a left, oh, sorry, a left and a right fan to give you that simulation of, of of the right sort of moving and as it switches to the left and the right the fans do what they're meant to do to sort of make it feel, feel like you're moving. Okay so that sends the signal up to a DC control board which is tucking on in under there. Uh, it's just got a generic 12 volt power supply. Uh, uh, then I decided to use some uh, relays to power these little fans on instead of powering them directly off the control board. Now talking to Alan, I've got to fit a couple of little diodes across off these. I'm just waiting for them to turn up. So this is just a bit of a mock-up. 
Uh, so using the DC to switch the little relays and obviously that's getting power through to supply our uh, power to our fans. Now what I'm actually doing, instead of actually switching the fans, like the, the left one on and the right one on, I'm actually switching them off because there's a bit of a delay you know, as the fans spool up. And so I found, um, when, I, when I first did the sequence of it, uh, it took a, you know, a half a second or so even further for the, for the fans to you know, spool up the speed. So what I'm doing is actually having them both going so you're feeling like you're moving straight, afo going straight forward. And so if we're moving to the right, I'll actually just switch the left fan off. So then, you know, it's only getting that wind blowing out from the from the right. Now these little fans, um, they seem to be punching a fair bit of air out. The, um, one bonus I found of using the relays, they seem to run a lot quieter. I was getting a bit of a humming noise when I was running them uh, directly off the off the DC board. Uh, also, what else we got going on? Um, we've got a um, some data. WS 2011 data coming out, just a, a floodlight there at the moment. That's just a 12 volt floodlight that's going to pound the data. Um, from the board as well, so there's nothing overly special about that. Uh, another little thing I've sort of hooked up. I've just got a 12 volt uh, windscreen washer motor pump. Now this is going to be located on the outside, so this is all just in test mode. And that comes, it's got like a little spray nozzle. And like I said in the in the video, it sprays a little bit of water onto the kids uh, possibly sitting on that seat. So it's only a little fine mist. Uh, it took a lot of mucking around to get the mist. Now I've had to I put the motor up. It's basically the same level as the as the sprayer. Like I mentioned in another video, uh, I was getting the water was gravity feeding back because it doesn't have a check valve in the pump. Uh, so that means it sprays when instantly when I want it to. Uh, one last little feature I've sort of added, just bear with me here, I've added some uh, added some seats, a seat, excuse the bad videoing here, sorry, it's fairly heavy this bit of one, hopefully it won't blow and crush, okay, we've added some seat rumblers, um, you might have heard it sort of ticking away, um, I've just got the cover off, off this one here, I need, to eat some, I need to eat some more ice cream to get another another cover between now and Halloween. Um, yeah, that's just one of these little vibration motors. Um, you know, just to give a bit of a... It actually... They seem to be working okay. It's, it's a fairly solid piece of timber, this. So it's actually absorbing a lot of the vibration. But also gives a little bit of a ticking noise, which is pretty cool, because it's actually... As you're like, you might be on like a roller coaster type ride, it's sort of going tick, 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 as it's moving along on the tracks. So that's that. And that's pretty well everything we've got. A couple of things I just need to tidy up, obviously. Mount all that in the closure. Nice and safe. Tucked in underneath. Um, there's a bit of a timber frame just to sort of hide the projector and everything else like that. Um, I'm going to leave the fans sitting on there. I might paint the black bits, the blue bits black, sorry. Um, they seem to be, I was going to mount them up higher. They seem to be at face level because you're sitting down lower. Uh, what else have we got to do? Got to add a trigger because we can still use a trigger while I'm on the GPI inputs on the Falcon Pipeline. So I can have an external switch to start the ride. And at the start, I've got just a screenshot and I'll have you know, probably the floodlights sort of just glowing for the kids. And one last little thing I'm gonna do just at the end of the ride. I've just got this old, <laughs> where is he? Is my old owl, um, just one of those, those cheapies, and I'm just going to switch. Um, yeah, just put a little switch, switch in just to trip those little try me buttons. And just at the end, end of the ride, he'll give a bit of a squark, um, just sort of to finish everything off. So that's what we've got. That's going to be our um, so called <laughs> guys have been. Been talking about the guys on um, Horse Christmas Lottery Crimes, the secret Halloween project. All right, guys, thanks for following along. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments below. Um, I might even try and do a bit of a, a forum write up thread on it. Okay, see you guys. Bye.